Hello YouTube, this is Oasis Rising, and this is day four of Road to Adepticon. Uh, you can see here I have finished base coating the Eternal Guard for the Wood Elves. Um, there's 12 or 10 of them there with full command, and um, they are kind of dark because I, I like to base coat in the dark, dark colors and then build up from there. So if I have time and get to it, I will certainly brighten these up. I went for two different shades of green, um, the darker orc hide shade and then the, what is that, Castella green, Castellan green, um, which are the same two greens I used on the commanders. The Castellan Green highlights up to a yellowish color, and the Orchid Shade highlights up to the Rotting Flesh, or uh, I don't remember what the new one is called. Um, so they'll certainly brighten up. So these are all kind of the same same shades as are used here, just the base coats. Um, I also looked up the... Um, not the rules, but the web on the website for GW, this particular model can be played as uh, a noble. There was some question about uh, whether, because he's called a highborn, whether he could be played as a hero character instead of a lord character. And yes, it does seem like that is possible. Um, so that's great. We can use this guy um, in our tournament. Um, so what I have going next, or what I have done so far, is I have two units, the Eternal Guard and the Glade, uh, not the Glade, the Dryads, painted up. Um, these guys are just base, base coated, like I said. I won't do much more on them unless I have time. Um, I'd like to, but you gotta get at least the basics to even participate in the tournament, so... This is all be all they get for now, and I'll make sure to clean up any any spots I missed and and stuff, and maybe stick a few tufts of grass on the on the bases. Um, for the bases, I just put sand, glue and sand, and then paint it over with the um, scorch brown. This is kind of the my brown color of choice for base coating. This is the technical base color the foundation Kelton brown but it doesn't it's not dark enough for me um, to get the nice dark earth shades and the dark uh, leather colors and the dark wood I, I like to use it as the, the next layer up for for things like that though it's not technically a layer paint uh, so yeah once I finish now that I finish these guys I want to finish building the glade riders I just have a couple left to do on that and then I will work on my list for the tournament and we have a little helper here always so helpful he's going after that cork you can see him sorry uh, <laughs> so once I get the glade riders built up I'm going to um, work on painting some of my high elves because I don't have a full unit painted for those guys yet. There he goes. Um, also, we're joining a another league. Another league is starting up uh, in a couple weeks, and we'll have some instruction on there instead of just kind of winging it like we did before. Um, so my husband and I will be able to learn how to play and get some practice in. And what else? Um, there's going to be a tournament here locally at the end of March, so that should be fun to, to try out our list in. I'm not sure the details or the rules of that yet. Uh, I suppose you need a, a new list every tournament because all the rules change. Um, so, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble, and thanks for watching. Bye!